welcome to evening prayer. For this evening, turning to a couple of hymns and using them as prayers. As often we hear and take on the words differently when we use them in a different context. So let's pray. Great God, your love has called us here as we by love for love were made. Your living likeness still we bear, though marred, dishonoured, disobeyed. We come with all our heart and mind, your call to hear, your love to find. We come with self-inflicted pains of broken trust and chosen one. Half free, half bound by inner chains, by social forces swept along. By powers and systems, close confined, yet seeking hope for humankind. Great God, in Christ you call our name, and then receive us as your own. Not through some right or merit or claim, but by your gracious love alone. We strain to glimpse your mercy seat and find you kneeling at our feet. Then take the towel and break the bread and humble us and call us friends. Suffer and serve till all are fed and show how grandly love intends to work till all creation sings and fill all worlds to crown all things. Great God in Christ, you set us free, your life to live, your joy to share. Give us your spirit's liberty to turn from guilt and all despair and offer all that faith can do while love is making all things new. Amen. So we continue from Joshua 4 and reading verses 14 to 24. On that day the Lord exalted Joshua in the sight of all Israel, and they stood in awe of him, as they had stood in awe of Moses all the days of his life. The Lord said to Joshua, Command the priests who bear the Ark of the Covenant to come up out of the Jordan. Joshua therefore commanded the priests, Come up out of the Jordan. When the priests bearing the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord came up from the middle of the Jordan, and the soles of the priests' feet touched dry ground, the waters of the Jordan returned to their place, and overflowed all its banks as before. The people came up out of the Jordan on the tenth day of the first month, and they camped at Gilgal to the east border of Jericho. Those twelve stones which they had taken out of the Jordan Joshua set up in Gilgal, saying to the Israelites, When your children ask their parents in time to come, what do these stones mean? Then you shall say to your children, No Israel cross the border here on dry ground. For the Lord your God dried up the waters of the Jordan for you until you crossed over, as the Lord your God did to the Red Sea which he dried up until we crossed over, so that all the people of the earth may know that the hand of the Lord is mighty, and so that you may fear the Lord your God forever. So the stones continue to be a way of sharing the story 
and share your history. And what are the things that we set in place to enable ourselves to tell the story, to share our journey in faith? How deep the Father's love for us How vast beyond all measure That He should give His only Son To make a wretch His treasure how great the pain of searing loss The Father turns His face away As wounds which mar the chosen one Bring many sons to glory So we come to offer our prayers and the focus that of peace as we continue to remember the Ukraine and pray for peace there but indeed peace for the world, for our communities and for individuals. Let's pray. We pray for peace but not the easy peace built on complacency and not the truth of God. We pray for real peace, the peace God's love alone can seal. We pray for peace, but not the cruel peace, leaving God's poor bereft and dying in distress. We pray for real peace, enriching all the human race.
we pray for peace and not the evil peace defending unjust laws and nurturing prejudice but for the real peace of justice, mercy, truth and love. We pray for peace, holy communion with Christ our risen Lord and every living thing, God's will fulfilled on earth and all creation reconciled. We pray for peace, and for the sake of peace, look to the risen Christ, who gives the grace we need to serve the cause of peace, and make our own self-sacrifice. God, give us peace. If you withdraw your love, there is no hope for us, nor any hope of it, with you to lead us on, through death or tumult, peace will come. Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not, not into temptation and save us from the time of trial. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. So may the blessing of God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be on you and all those for whom we pray this night and always. Amen.